You're listening to Curious and Interesting, a two-minute podcast on what's new and intriguing in the world of advertising research. I'm Dr. Barbara Phillips, editor of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising. Consumers want to support brands that connect with their own values. Consumers like brands that take action instead of just talking about issues. Therefore, brands often adopt charity support behaviors such as participating in social and environmental crisis relief. For example, bottled water brands can distribute their product free of charge to hurricane victims or to the homeless during summer days with dangerously hot temperatures. However, brands that don't appear to be authentically engaged with the crisis are dismissed by skeptical consumers as woke washing. Since decisions about crisis donation must be made rapidly in changing conditions, traditional CSR strategies may not be able to help guide these types of donations. For example, should a brand donate money or products? And does the type of crisis matter? Researchers Pittman and Sheehan decided to find out through two experiments. In the first study, participants were exposed to one of three different fictitious news stories about Colgate Palmolive's response to a hurricane in the Virgin Islands. Based on previous studies, the researchers knew that $25 million is viewed as a large donation by consumers, while $5 million is viewed as a small donation. The three stories mentioned that Colgate Palmolive donated either $25 million in cash, $5 million in cash, or $5 million in brand products such as toothpaste and soap. Participants indicated how authentic, sincere, and caring the brand was and their intentions to purchase the brand in the future. The findings of the first study demonstrate that consumers found the brand to be the most authentic when it donated $5 million in products, and this type of donation led to the highest intention to purchase the brand. In other words, when a brand donates its own products in a crisis situation, it creates better brand equity than when donating five times the value of those products in cash alone. This could be because donating products better connects the brand's symbolic values to the crisis relief effort. However, not all brands' products fit every crisis. In the second study, the researchers wanted to understand if the type of crisis matters to consumers' perceptions of brand authenticity. The two types of crises were a low or high fit with the brand's products. Participants were exposed to four different news stories about Nike's donations. A $5 million cash donation to wildfire relief. A $5 million cash donation to schools for gym equipment. $5 $5 million in products donated to wildfire relief, or $5 million in products to school gyms. Besides the outcomes measured in Study 1, the researchers also asked participants how likely they were to click on, like, or share the story, a measure of digital engagement. The findings of the second study show that in the low-fit condition, Nike shoes and forest fires, purchase intention and digital engagement were highest when Nike donated its products instead of cash. For the high-fit condition, there was no difference in consumer response based on donations of money or products. This could be because in the high-fit condition, consumers might think that donated cash would be used to buy Nike products anyway. The takeaway for brands seems to be that donating products is perceived as more authentic than donating cash and can lead to better brand outcomes. Anyone can give cash, but only Colgate can give toothpaste or Nike give shoes. In addition, digital engagement is higher for a low-fit crisis because the donation is unexpected and original, and thus more likely to be shared. Therefore, this research gives brands permission to respond to a variety of crises, differentiating themselves and building equity while also contributing to the greater good. For more information, this research paper was published in the 2021 issue of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising.